Imperial College London's research is breaking new ground in the exploration and development of smart cities. In September 2011, the Business School and the Faculty of Engineering were awarded a five-year grant by the Research Council UK's Digital Economy Programme to create a digital city exchange. DCE's mission is to revolutionise city infrastructure, digitally linking utilities and services within a city. DCE is a large cross-faculty project at Imperial College London, bringing together a unique multidisciplinary team from economists and innovation experts to systems engineers, transport and energy experts. I'm going to tell you about one of the most exciting projects we've got at Imperial College. It's a project that's going to revolutionise the way in which our cities work and the way in which we live in them. And it's harnessing the power of the next generation of digital technologies and bringing those to bear with our physical infrastructure, our transport systems, our waste management, our electricity systems, and the services that people uh, have off the back of those systems. Over the next 20 years or so, more and more people will be living in cities, and our infrastructures will struggle to provide the services that we need. Everyone knows what it's like to suffer from congestion, whether it's on the tube lines, on the roads, on a waiting list waiting for a hospital appointment, or what have you. And we think about congestion as peak load. And for an infrastructure provider, such as the electricity generation companies, peak load is very expensive. You have to have spare capacity. So our project is tackling, on the one hand, peak load. And we're going to try and find new ways of reducing peak. On the other hand, we're looking at the new opportunities that these uh, systems will provide. The Digital City Exchange is the first of a kind. It's the first project in the world to take data from what are previously discrete infrastructures like transport and waste and process that data in an integrated way to see if we can remove peak load. DCE will conduct real-world trials with six industry partners, IBM, Transport for London, National Grid, Sainsbury's, Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust and Arup. By putting its research to the test, DCE can then go back to its models and work to improve them for future testing. I think digital economy uh, breaks down into two categories. There are those people who actually make money by delivering the elements that make digital things work. That's fairly self-explanatory, I think. I think the bigger challenge is for most people to understand where technology, and therefore digital economy, plays in their own individual business. But I think the most unique thing, and this is why universities are so much involved, is the generations of the future because they're not just the scientists that will continue to enhance what we do, they're the employees of the companies that are involved. And this means that we've got a continuity going forward, we've got a group of people who speak a common language and a common nomenclature. We've been through 20, 25 years of the rise of the digital economy and we sometimes talk about the digital divide and that's about the one billion of us who have access to the internet, who can afford computers and the phone lines to link up and so on. In the next 10 or 15 years, we're going to see the end of the digital divide. Already there are five or six billion people with low-cost mobile phones that can connect in to these new services. And the project that we're working on will provide the platforms that can be used in cities around the world that can help to enable citizens to do their own thing to invent in the street, if you like.